Have you been to churches that do the same thing every week? Stand up, sit down, stand up again. Me too. But I'm about to blow your mind on how that can be effective. Let's talk about it. Barry Smith here, author, father, husband, pastor of 25 years, and a guy who's seen more than his share of church services. Ooh. You've been there and done that. The church has essentially the same service every single week. You stand and sing, then you sit, then you stand, then there's the special music number of some sort, and then a message or a sermon. The pastor closes his sermon in prayer, and then you stand and sing again. It can get kind of monotonous. It's not that it's bad, it's just so often there's little meaning and life change behind it. And how many disciples who make disciples are being produced? And that's where our simple church model comes in. For a quick review, a simple church is simply defined as a spiritual family with Christ in the center as king, who love God, love others, and make disciples who make disciples. And that gives us the revealed will of God in the Old Testament to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and in the New Testament, to make disciples who make disciples. The simple church model is kind of the whole point of why we do what we do. It's the format of seeing disciples who make disciples. And the key of the simple church is the simple order of service. We don't need pastors, staff, budgets, programs, or buildings. And I realize that this can be a little out of the box, especially if you're used to the established church in America, but let me make sure that you hear this one thing. We aren't trying to replace the typical or established American church. We're coming alongside the church and adding to what's already there. And not only does this format make sense, it's biblical and it sets us up to start a movement of multiplication and not just addition. Here's the gist. You gather 11 of your closest family and friends and start meeting. It's that simple. You start meeting in someone's home or a small venue. And as a side note, how cool would it be to do ministry or church or faith or life for that matter with 11 of your closest family and friends? We can help you make this happen with some minimum standards and best practices, of course. Okay, so the point of this segment, this video, is to talk about the order of service, which is the key to making disciples who make disciples. Here it is. It's the three-legged stool. Sharing. Knowledge and application. Sharing, knowledge, and application. A three-legged stool. And each leg needs to be equal in length and in strength. Otherwise, the stool just isn't effective or even usable. If one leg were shorter than the others, the stool would be off balance at best, and more likely, it would be unusable. The order of service is simple. Choose these three elements. Sharing, knowledge, and application. That's it. Sharing, knowledge, and application. And when you do these three things in every church service that we have as a simple church, you are all but guaranteed to have results that are disciples who make disciples and change lives. We are going to go in depth on each of those three legs of the stool in future videos. But for now, just know that each of these elements or legs, so to speak, must be of equal importance and you must spend the same amount of time in each element. Otherwise, the church will be off balance, and so will the believers. And that can be part of the problem with the established church today. Now, I'm not trying to diss the church, but I am evaluating the results. Most all churches are great at knowledge. That element is fantastic. They teach, and often, really deep stuff. But they spend about half their time on the knowledge part. Maybe a small part of the message has some sort of application to it, but almost no time is spent on sharing. And to the church's defense, they really can't. I mean, a church of 300 can't have each person stand up and share how they lived out their faith the previous week and maybe some struggles or questions that they might have. It's not only unfeasible, it's impossible. Well, unless they want to have a 10-hour service, and that's certainly not practical in most locations nowadays. In our simple churches, we highly encourage each church to spend the same amount of time in sharing, knowledge, and application. And if they want to add some extra stuff on it, that's great, but it's all bonus. But if you have 90 minutes, then each leg or element gets 30 minutes each 
it's counterproductive to spend 60 minutes on knowledge and then a token amount of time sharing or application parts. Remember, each leg must be equal in importance and time spent. And when you do this, it will produce disciples who make disciples. And that's the point of our time here on earth. I know this may be short-sighted for some of you, but it's no less truth. There are over 2 million of these types of house churches planted all over the world in the last 20 years. It works. And I'll show you how in future videos where we'll do a video on each leg or element. We'll dive deep into the whys and hows to hold a simple church. And the beauty of it is that anyone can do it. You don't need to be a spiritual giant or a pastor or have to go to Bible college to lead one. Seriously, anyone who knows Jesus can do this. And we'll talk about why that is in the next video. Have you ever thought about leading a small group? Well, we, we call it a simple church, but it's essentially the same thing. You can do this, and we'd love to empower you to make it happen. Let us know what you think in the comments below about this video. And let me know if you have questions, specific questions, or might like more information on launching your own group. We can make it happen for you, I promise. And as always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It helps us get the word out there. I'd really appreciate it. And if you like our stuff, consider supporting us with a tip on PayPal or tax-deductible donation at youchoose.community. The links are all below. So right now, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and share this thing because no doubt someone you know probably needs to hear this. And don't forget to comment below what you think about this video and any questions you might have, as well as if you'd like to explore launching your own simple church. My email is in the notes below as well. Until next time, God bless.